Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to feature the new Prince Edward collection. So we are in Prince Edward County, home, hometown of uh, Joseph Crow Audio, and this is where Daniel, the municipality where Daniel and I live. Woohoo! Yeah, so <laughs> uh, this is a new product, a new collection, and this is an introductory product for the collection. So this is vintage inspired design and it's modeled after the 1920s era western electric kind of the 22a spiral horn so this is not modern audiophile by any means but it is pure fun in the sense that you can 3d print this and experiment and if you look at my blog i've tested various drivers you can see here these are the drivers that i tested and so it has a, uh, an adapter for a one inch compression driver and then you can also directly face mount uh, the, the driver into the horn. So this is an 80 centimeter path length. It loads down to around 165 hertz. And so it's kind of a vintage mid-range focused sound where you're going to get the entire vocal range. There's going to be some treble output but not a lot depending on you know the drivers that you've chosen. Now the plan set on the site includes uh, my own kind of custom compression driver and after testing all of these different drivers I settled on this little guy which is a 19 millimeter full range driver from Peerless and so inside there is the little full range driver and it's shooting directly into the throat and then it has a little tiny 0.05 liter sealed rear chamber. And so that I found was a good balance of low frequency extension. It also offers clean treble output. And so, like I mentioned, you can actually 3D print. All of these parts can be 3D printed. And I have the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro 3D printer here. And these are the printers that we use. They're around uh, $300 Canadian, around $220 US dollars each, depending on the sale. You can buy them directly from the Elegoo website. No affiliation whatsoever with, with Elegoo. Uh, however, we found that they're very reliable. They print at a reasonable speed and just as easy as can be as far as the printing with the Elegoo software. It's literally bring it in, bring in the STL file, place it in the, in the space there and then print away using the uh, standard settings that come preset with the printer. So uh, very straightforward, pretty much anybody can print this. Uh, the pieces are sized so that you can fit it on the Pro 3, which is a 220 by 220 print bed. And so all the pieces will fit on there with the exception of the, the main mouth of the horn which requires the Pro 3 Max, which is a, uh, I believe it's a 440 by 440 print bed. Now, if you just wanna print everything on the smaller printer, the files are, uh, include the horn completely split down the middle so that you print one half at a time and then you would glue that, those two pieces together. Now, the, each elbow section is removable. You can see here I have these special fittings and so it actually allows you to reconfigure the horn so that you can go with maybe like a low profile shape where this elbow rotates 90 degrees and keeps it down into a low profile. The idea here is perhaps listening to your old albums, your old 45s, it can be used as a center channel or uh, if you add a small Bluetooth amp you can turn it into a little Bluetooth speaker. So there's just so many options the sound just projects into the room with what you would expect from a nice horn speaker um, much more dynamic than than a regular kind of bluetooth speaker um, and we have a jbl here that we could show you kind of the difference in the sound so is there was is there any specific uh plastic or the filament you use on that for yeah. this kind of thing is there that's a good any question kind of recommendations so for that just we use standard PLA, which is the most common plastic material, and it's just the standard settings. The, the nozzle is the most common at 0.4 millimeter diameter nozzle. And so it's able, now this, this one, I just kind of threw it together and I did two coats of primer and then the hammer tone paint. You can still kind of see 
uh, some of the printing marks, but if you really wanted to make it much more beautiful, you could just putty it or fill it in. Uh, there's a number of methods online of smoothing the surface if you wanted to make it look even nicer. And you, you're talking about on it, this is a plan on your website right yeah. now? Yeah, it's, a, it's on my site. I'll, I'll link to it in the description. So the idea here is to create kind of a community of uh, like an ethos of creators that experiment. It encourages experimentation, have some fun with it and try different drivers. I'll, I'll link to my blog as well, where I show all the test data for those drivers and the distortion and the frequency response. And so the idea is that maybe you could buy your own drivers and try them and do your own experimenting and maybe even take your own measurements and just see what kind of performance you can get out of this. So uh, there'll also be future accessories, future versions, future changes that, we, that I'll be introducing kind of in that, that space on my site. So I've rearranged my website to differentiate between kind of the classic vintage uh, DIY plans and files versus what I call modern audiophile, which is more about the two-channel critical listening and th that uh, modern horn technology. So if you go on my site, you can see it broke down between vintage and modern. So it just helps separate. Um, this is just for fun, kind of get a uh, taste of what the old uh, vintage horn sounded like and uh, it's just great fun. So does the stand is that part of the printing or is that something I have yep. to mount separately or so the stand here is uh, it separates it's a separate piece that gets printed and it just snaps on here oh, it gets, great. it'd be printed like that and then what I did is I just uh, made it so whoop, what I did is I just made it so that it spreads apart so that you just put these little pins in there and then just keeps it like that. So wow, it's already Fantastic. designed for you. You don't need to do any of the thinking. The thinking's already been done. And it's just, uh, now the other thing I should mention too is each elbow is in two pieces, a male and a female, so that you can glue them together. And then it also has this, uh, this I'm not sure what you would call it, but it's a, it allows a, a, a channel for your super glue to go into and then locates it. When you put the two pieces together, it fully locates the two halves so that you're not kind of fighting with it, wondering if you've got them aligned or not. So that's, that's what I've done for the throat elbow, and then there's a middle elbow, and then the final kind of elbow before it goes into the mouth. So. Nice. Allows you to, what it, what, the reason I had done that is so that when you're printing it, um, you can get a clean uh, internal profile. So the internal profile is perfectly smooth and you're not left with the uh, supports having to tear those off and, and that. So for someone, so then someone like me that's trying to just get into 3D printing, um, is it just I download the file and the file is ready to go or do I have That's to right. do anything to it? Yeah, so if you purchase the plans on my site, then you automatically get an email containing all of the required files. So there's an assembly drawing in PDF format. You can actually download the full PDF drawing on my site that shows you all the different pieces and what the sizes are so that you can know beforehand whether it's gonna fit on your printer or not and it shows you the assembly instructions for the uh, compression tweeter here and, and the hardware and everything that's required. Just standard hardware that you can get at your local hardware store for that. Fantastic. Great job. Did I answer all that question? <laughs> <laughs> you did, you did. Okay, great. Yep, so uh, like I said, we'll be offering accessories, maybe a tweeter. You can potentially place this on top of a base cabinet to add some base augmentation. And so just exciting, fun, you know, just uh, those that are just have an academic interest in horn technology or speaker technology. And then it looks cool as well. It can be a great conversation piece uh, for guests and that. So yeah, great job. Thanks for sharing that with us. Yeah. Trust in me, you know, you do. Have the faith I have in you. Love will see us.
us through if only you trust me why don't you You do have the faith I have in you. Love will see us through if only you trust me. Why don't you know you trust me? Come to me. Well, that's it for today. Thank you, everyone. Horn number 3000 from the Prince Edward collection. Take care. Amazing. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Have a great one.